President Obama's trip to Europe culminated this morning with a speech that could have disastrous implications for America as it reveals a pre-9-11 appeasement mentality and approach to national security that is a threat to the United States. Now, in 75 short days, this administration turned the war on terror now into a war on semantics. They have promised to unlock the cells at Guantanamo Bay. And while the nation's eyes have turned to a struggling economy, this administration is taking steps to cut defense spending. And that noise you hear off in the distance, those are the mullahs. Well, they're cheering. So why did the president use every chance he could on this trip to make excuses for America? He apologized for our so-called arrogance. He apologized to the Turks for our treatment of Native Americans. And when asked about American exceptionalism, the president marginalized his own country by saying our sense of exceptionalism is no different than that of the British and the Greeks. So can anyone name something exceptional about Greece these days? And while North Koreans were testing missiles that could be fired on the United States, well, the president was promoting unilateral nuclear disarmament. Well, we say it's unilateral because the real threats that justify nuclear weapons, it's no longer the Soviets or Germans, but the Iranians and the North Koreans, and it's clear they no, want no part of disarmament. Now, then came his speech in Turkey when the president said the following. So let me say this as clearly as I can. The United States is not and will never be at war with Islam. Now, it's a nice thought, Mr. President, but the fact of the matter is, is that many in the Muslim world, they are at war with us. And it's not just the fanatics, it's the governments that harbor them, from Damascus to Tehran to Karachi. You know what? They are the threat that all the citizens of the world that you talk about that have to be concerned about. Now, Mr. Obama needs to remember that he is the president of the United States of America, not the rock star of the Western world. His first priority needs to be keeping this country, America, safe. But from what we saw this weekend, the age of Obama promises to be a dangerous one indeed.